Recently, the National Assembly got on the good books of many Nigerians when it passed the sexual harassment bill in tertiary institutions. While President assent is being awaited, the cases are yet to be tried. We are now joined by journalist Udeme Eduamao, all the way from Uyo, Akwaibom State. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So help us understand the correlation between sexual harassment and domestic violence. Oh, well, um, in the normal context, sexual harassment means something else and domestic violence means something else. But um, with the way things have gone, I have come to realize that there is a great interrelation, interconnectivity between the two. Reason being that if you're talking about sexual violence, it happens both in the office and at home. If you're talking of domestic violence, of course that one is domestic, so it's domesticated, it's mostly at home and all that. But it also happens in the office. So when we are talking about sexual issues, we have issues where a boss harasses um, his subject and um, in the home, a father harasses a mother harasses, sexually harasses his subject in the house, whether the child or the herself or a neighbor or something. So there is a connectivity in the issue when you're discussing both. There's no way you can disconnect them without joining them together. All right. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, surprisingly, though, we are yet to have a definitive uh, uh, legal instrument that addresses sexual harassment in the workplace. Where are we with this? Well, um, it's actually going to be a tough one because even when we have a um, bill passed on issues like that, we find out that well, in some countries it may work, you know, effectively. But, well, I, ha I have to say this because um, we have, we've had some bills passed in the past that still does not take effect, even when it's uh, domesticated in one state or another. We have the recent sexual harassment bill um, being passed by, the, of course, the, um, a speaker. And, yes, unless it was passed into law, we know that it exists. But the good thing is, um, I spoke with a few persons. I know I heard because the main reason why the bill came up was because of um, um, a lady that was harassed in Ife by a lecturer. So I learned that some lecturers are actually G3 because they feel and they believe, which I believe should be, should be that the, the bill is going to take effect and it's going to be implemented and it's going to affect a lot of people. All right. So a recent case... Alone, yeah, that, that, that should help. I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're time pressed. Um, I, wanted okay. to, I want to take your thoughts okay. quickly on this particular one. A recent case of a wife being molested and even battered by her husband brought up issues of women's financial independence. Does this contribute to issues of molestation within a marriage, in your opinion? That to me is called economic, a domestic violence. When you talk of domestic violence, that's economic domestic violence. Economic domestic violence has to do with, I don't have the money, let me subject myself to this person no matter what happens, so I can take care of myself. Let me give you a typical example. There's a woman somewhere in the north, um, I was at a webinar three days ago, a woman somewhere in the north, she has three daughters for this man, her husband. The husband molest, sexually molested the three daughters and molest her of course, sleeps with her as well. And what happened? The woman tells the children, as soon as you graduate from the university, as soon as you finish school, you're free, you can go back. So you're free, you will leave your father. So endure the pain while it lasts. That's, Meanwhile, that's so when she confronts the husband, the other tells her, would you rather I go out and sleep with other men outside than, other women outside rather, than with people I have in the house? Now, if the woman were, edu were, were economically independent, would that have happened? That's the question. Sorry. So most people subject to... Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello? Uh, yes, yes, I can hear okay. you. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time, so I would say thank you very much for oh. joining us and I uh, wish You're you the welcome. very best. You're welcome.